Hello YouTube, this is Mark Henninger from Sound and Vision Magazine. And today I am in a studio with the Samsung S95C 77 inch quantum dot OLED TV. All right, so the purpose of this trip is not to do a full review. Uh, the magazine will be doing that uh, separately, but rather to get a preview look uh, at this sample unit, uh, some hands-on time. So I decided on this trip, uh, instead of trying to do like a full calibration and all that, uh, that I would check out some footage and some photos that I created because uh, one of the ideas behind modern TVs is that the movie or filmmaker mode delivers creative intent. So I put this TV in its movie mode and I'm playing video that I captured. Uh, I know what the scene looks like and I also know what it looks like playing back on a calibrated monitor. So what I can do is vouch for uh, the fidelity of, of the image that I'm seeing here. Uh, it's really quite incredible because uh, OLED or OLED TVs already look quite amazing and quantum dot OLED just basically raises the bar. Now, why does quantum dot OLED raise the bar versus the WRGB or the white pixel uh, OLEDs that have dominated the market thus far? Well, there's a reason for that, and it's because with quantum dot OLED, uh, a blue OLED creates the light, and then quantum dots convert it to pure red and green. So there's no need for that white pixel to achieve peak brightness, and it is therefore able to express a wider range of colors, uh, going well past the DCI P3 color gamut that's used to master movies. This TV also goes beyond the 1000 nit peak brightness that's used in HDR mastering. So really what it's able to do is surpass the technical requirements needed to properly show HDR. And in the process, it is also able to just really ace it when it's showing SDR video such as this 4K footage. It just looks three-dimensional because of the native contrast of the TV. And what you'll see in some of the further footage is, is how the deep blacks of OLED uh, really make the image pop. In this scene, you're looking at the clock tower of what used to be the Inquirer building in Philadelphia. It's been renovated and is now the new police headquarters. The contrast uh, and the movement uh, is what makes the building look like it's popping out of the screen. Uh, the motion is incredibly smooth. There's no blurring, there's no judder or stutter, and it's really bringing out extraordinarily fine detail within this scene as the drone pulls back. You can see all the way into New Jersey and the Ben Franklin Bridge and, and flags on top of... Uh, the R. Mark Jefferson building. There's just all kinds of stuff to look at. All right, let's move on to uh, a couple of really cool scenes. Uh, these are not videos, these are photos. Um, and this is a, a home theater built around a TV designed for gaming. Uh, it may seem excessive, but let me just mention that the velvet used on these walls is the world's darkest, most light absorbing velvet. And then here on the floor, you see regular black carpeting and that really is, is brought out. There's no way you're gonna capture detail in here. It really should be expressed as pure black. Uh, but then yeah, regular black surfaces uh, should in fact be visible and all of that comes through in this photo, uh, which I took when I visited that theater. Uh, adjacent to that theater is a traditional home theater for projection. Uh, this is looking back onto it, uh, but it similarly uses the ultra dark uh, light absorbent velvet, uh, but has a black carpet in the forefront and black furniture that is picking up uh, the, the light. So really just seeing these fine gradations and details in, in the ultra deep shadows is, is gratifying, uh, but also seeing uh, the OLED render these bright highlights and these sharp lines with no bleed and really just uh, 
doing justice to the photo, uh, that, that's very gratifying to me uh, as, as a creator. Now let's have a quick look at a drone clip that was shot at night. Uh, this is hovering over the fountain uh, at the Dinner en Blanc in Philadelphia, 2022. Uh, it's a giant pop-up dinner that uh, is, occurs annually. And uh, you can see here how the uh, OLED panel handles the extreme variation in uh, brightness uh, from the spotlights in the fountain itself uh, to the deep shadows in the brush where there are no people and there is no light. And then you've got all the city lights that come into view as the uh, drone camera tilts up and uh, city hall and all that. Uh, enters the picture. Uh, this is just a, a tremendous uh, rendition of, of this clip. I, I've seen it many times uh, and uh, just uh, I would say that this TV is, is doing the best job at it that I've uh, seen any display uh, thus far. It, it's just really bringing out uh, all the micro textural details that uh, exist in this impressive scene. I just want to wrap up briefly by uh, noting that uh, TVs are used uh, to display artwork and NFTs. Uh, I am a little bit in that business as well. Uh, I create artwork uh, using aerial photography like you just saw. Uh, that then gets processed through uh, AI algorithms and have paint effects put on them. And that uh, this TV uh, really does a spectacular job of just showing the art as artwork. It has a extraordinarily effective anti-reflective layer on it. And uh, while it's not Samsung's The Frame, uh, the, the minimalism of its design, uh, it's an ultra thin pure slab, and then the, the, the highly uh, reflective free, uh, detailed, contrasty, accurate picture uh, makes the artwork just look, uh, again, the, the way I envisioned it uh, when I was creating it uh, on a calibrated monitor um, and then uh, how it comes out in print because uh, ultimately these artworks uh, get printed on canvas. What's left? Well, I got this aerial photo of uh, St. Xavier in Philadelphia and it's just a, a nice uh, super high res still image uh, that, that shows how this TV uh, renders extremely fine details and a micro contrast, uh, so it differentiates between bright and dark individual pixels very well. And what that lets you see is individual tiny little leaves in the trees, uh, even if it's a dark tree in a shadow here, and, and it just makes them look uh, well, three-dimensional. And the same thing goes for the architecture in, uh, in this church. Uh, it just it gets so finite within the details, and they're rendered uh, with such great contrast that, that when you're just standing here looking at it, uh, you, your brain is fooled into seeing it uh, as, as being essentially three-dimensional. And... You know, personally, that, that's really what I want out of a TV is, is that capacity. And uh, the same goes for a little grand finale here, and I'm going to call out for Eagles. Go Eagles! But uh, here is Philadelphia City Hall, uh, shot at night, ultra high resolution, uh, multiple exposures, and then tone mapped. And uh, now we have this TV, and it's really doing uh, justice. I especially love how this... Uh, statue down here you can actually see details uh in, in the horse even though it's backlit by that arch uh you know i've i've spent a lot of time thinking about it and looking at this photo and, and zooming into it and 
uh, everything that I would want it to uh, express uh, comes through when you're looking at it on the uh, Samsung S95C. So that is uh, pretty much the, the grand tour. And uh, what I want to do is finish it up with uh, another bit of uh, aerial footage. And, and just what I love about this is, is how the TV uh, can render a scene where, where the camera's looking into the sun uh, that can often lead to a washed out looking image, but uh, not with this uh, Quantum Dot OLED. Uh, and, uh, and, and what I really love about that is that it, 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 the camera did its job. It, it actually captured the scene. It's, it's displays that, that, that sometimes have a, a difficult time with it. Uh, and, uh, but this, this TV really has not had a difficult time with uh, anything that I've watched on it. It, it essentially has, has aced everything in terms of motion, detail, color accuracy, uh, you know, and, and the, the quality of the black levels, but, but not crushing any shadow detail. Um, and, and, and of course, this is not footage that's been supplied by a, a company or, or some, you know, uh, some, some clip in a movie or whatever that's, that's used by all the reviewers, you know, to, because it's convenient and, and, and common. It, it's, it's definitely, uh, footage that, that I am familiar with in, in a setting that I'm familiar with. And, uh, and it is everything that it should be. So that is the wrap on this uh, tour, if you want to call it that, of uh, preliminary preview and uh, the first impression of the excellent Samsung S95C Quantum Dot OLED 77-inch TV, new for 2023, and uh, as I understand it, uh, uh, the MSRP is $4,449.99 and uh, should be able to pre-order or order one now.